Okay, hello world, this is Dennis, Kilo Delta 9, Lima Victor Romeo, got a, another video for you today. Uh, this was requested by my subscriber Theo T. He wanted to see my coax uh, set up here, so let me show you what I got. Um, these two right here, these are coming from the window where the coax is fed into the house using that uh, Comet uh, window pass-through. Can't quite remember what type this is, um, but it's made by Chameleon and it's got these um, ferrite um, um, beads or whatever you call them on here for dealing with uh, interference. Um, this one is my 40 meter double bazooka and this one is my N-fed um, inverted L and that goes into this antenna switch here. And they got the, this coax here. I believe this is the same type as this stuff. I'm trying to read on the thing here what type of coax it is. Of course, I can't see, but anyhow, I don't know if that really makes any difference to type. But <laughs> anyhow, that goes over here to this um, Alpha Delta four position switch. Uh, feeds into here. Uh, this one right here, this goes to the ICOM IC7300, and I got some uh, ferrite uh, um, cores on there. Uh, why can't I think of the right word for those right now? My brain is just bleh. <laughs> it's a Sunday morning. Give me a break. Anyhow, um, this coax here, um, that goes up here to this antenna switch. Uh, that one is for my receivers. I want to replace this one with a four-position switch, and uh, I will explain why in a moment. But anyhow, uh, this one, it goes to the um, the ICOM ICR75. My uh, brand new to me, anyhow, Yesu FRG100, and the Elinko DXR8. There's um, also... Another coax, this one right here, that's for other receivers, but I'll get to that in a moment. This one right here, this goes to the uh, t to the Kenwood TS590SG. And uh, the reason why I want to replace this is so then I can have every all the receivers going through this one. So then I can have the uh, Kenwood on here and the Yesu FT991 on the other one. But uh, until then, I have this one going over to back over here to yet uh, another antenna switch and an antenna splitter. And um, try and remember here what a saw <laughs> what. Um, that's why I need to get this a little bit more organized. Okay, this one is for my uh, um, my SDR. Which one is that? Um, uh, SDR Sharp, I'm trying to remember the company. Air Spy, that's it, the, the Air Spy. And then this one goes, okay, that one goes to the splitter there, which I have hooked up the Kenwood R2000 and one of the Yesus. I uh, switch back and forth between which one I have uh, plugged in. And as you can tell, I got um, various types of uh, coax. Like this one here going to the uh, the Kenwood R2000, that's some really thick stuff. Uh, that's uh, RG8U it looks like. Whereas like this stuff here, that's RG8X. Uh, I don't, for the receivers, I don't know if it makes that really big of a difference. I know for the uh, transceivers you want better stuff, but um, for like the short runs here, I don't know if that really makes that much of a difference, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a, <laughs> a mess back here, especially when you get into all the power cords and the cables and stuff. This is just <laughs> a nightmare, um, but you know, for the most part, unless you're looking for it, uh, here, let me turn down this radio, uh, you don't really notice it, but uh, that's the, uh, the coax uh, setup for my shack here. I uh, hope that uh, answer, or I uh, hope that's what you were looking for, Theo, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.